Hi, I'm Karen Berniston here with a video tutorial for how to assemble the Sizzix Bigs XL photo wheel die. Now, the die itself comes with step by step picture instructions inside the packaging, and it is a Bigs XL size. You'll need a piece of paper that's about 6 by 12 to be able to cover the entire die, and then you're also going to need a set of extended cutting plates. You'll make a sandwich with your cutting plates and then you'll just roll the die right through your Sizzix Big Shot machine. You only have to roll the die through the machine one time to get the pieces that you need to make a photo wheel. It's just two pieces, the circle there and then the one that has the cutout. Now the circle is the one that has all those little perforated guides and that's going to help you place your captions and your photos just perfectly to fit behind that window piece that spins. So the first thing you need to do is get eight photos to fit on your photo wheel. And there are a few different ways that you can cut your photos to fit it. If you have a large photo like this that has a small subject that you want to use, you can do it by templating. Take the piece that dropped out of that window, trace around the outside and cut it. You could also cut an extra little window piece just to use as a template and then trace around that and cut it. But I think my favorite way to do it, if you're using big photos like this, is just to use a one inch square punch. So I've just trimmed down my photo so I can fit it into the punch. And I'll do it upside down so I can see that I like the framing. And then I will just press down. And that's going to make my little one inch square that will fit on my photo wheel. One last way that you can do this, the way I usually do, is if you have access to a photo editing software, you can lay out all your photos as one inch squares and then just print them all at one time and then just cut them out and now you have all of those little one inch squares. So that's what I've done for my project here. I've cut eight one inch square photos of my daughter at different ages and I'll just go ahead and glue one in at the top to be my first photo. Directly across from each photo is the little circle that is the caption place. So I'm going to use a rubber stamp to stamp in her age in that photo. You could also just as easily use a pen, you could use rub-on stickers, however you want to get all of your photos and captions on your wheel. And then your spinner will go on top. You see how that works, where you see one photo and then the caption directly across from it. I'm going to use one of my new Sizzlet sets, the Butterfly Flower and Swirl set, to add a little decoration to the top of this before I put my brad through. I've cut one of the flowers and I wanted to show that that flower has a neat feature where there are a couple little tick marks on those interior petals that allow you to easily fold them up and then there's another little tick mark that allows you to kind of fold it down. So that allows you to mold those little interior petals up and make like a little three-dimensional flower. Just like that. So once I've molded those petals, then I can go ahead and glue my flower into place. And I want the center of the flower to go over the center of the photo wheel so it's easy just to add my brad through to put the whole piece together. But one thing I noticed is my flower just partially obscures a little bit of my caption circle, and I didn't want that. So I'll just, before I assemble it, take a little pair of scissors in there and just snip away the parts of the flower that cover that hole. And now that my decoration is in place, then I'll just stack up my two pieces and add a decorative brad to the center, and that will hold everything together and allow that top piece to spin. And I even added one of my swirls there to the top of the photo wheel too, just for some added decoration. And now you'll see as I spin it, I see a picture of Emma and then her age in the little caption window across from it. When I'm ready to add it to a project, I just turn it over, add adhesive all over the back, and glue it down. The photo wheel is completely generic, and depending on the colors that you choose, you can use it for a boy, a girl, really any type of subject. Here's an 8x8 layout where I added the photo wheel with some pictures of Carl, and this time I used black and white photos. And now let's look at a layout that Gretchen did. This one are pictures of herself as a child, and so in her caption window she just used a pen and wrote in the year of her photo. And I like that she added the front of the photo wheel over her page protector so that it can spin and everything behind it is still protected. Now you can also use the photo wheel on a card. This is another card by Gretchen, and I love this little card. Her son had his birthday party and her grand his grandparents couldn't make it, so she made this little card to show them all of the little highlights of the day. 
And then one last card, it doesn't have to use photos at all. This is a card by Tara Noel, a Valentine's card where she just put in little captions. He loves me, he loves me not. And I love how she put glitter around the edge of the spinner wheel. So there's several ideas for how you might use the Biggs XL photo wheel die. And you can find out where to buy it at Sizzix.com. Thanks for watching.